You guys got to get one of these. What am I talking about? Well, I'm not talking about the CNC, but I'm talking about this nifty clamp mechanism I designed up in Fusion 360. You want to know more about it? Well, stick with me and let's jump into this together and I'll share it with you. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share this clamp setup I created for my 3018 CNC. So one of the pieces, I was having some challenges with work holding on this smaller bed. So I wanted to come up with something that would effectively allow me to hold material on this machine, uh, you know, that was both easy, kept it up off the bed, all that kind of stuff. So I whipped this up. It's basically a three-part clamp. Uh, it's uh, the, the uh, two pieces here and here are held in place by uh, four M5s with T-nuts on the bottom that actually go into the bed here. Uh, this push plate is actually keyed to fit into the bed, so it holds it down to the bed, and obviously these three quarter 20s uh, push against this to tighten this up. Now I have a piece of half inch in here, uh, and it holds it super tight so I can machine it in place in Bob's your uncle. Now I designed this so it lifts it up down here at the bottom about six millimeters off the bed. So sawdust and, and everything can fall down through there. And plus I'm keeping it up off the bed. I don't have to have any type of sacrificial material underneath it. And the pressure points are actually coming from these sides, which is holding things rather true as well as sitting on here uh, somewhat true. So I, I've been really pleased with the way that this works. Um, one of the things as far as this bar here too, I've also inserted quarter 20 nuts in here and these are printed out of PETG and they're pretty much solid pieces. So this is super strong. One of the things that I'm thinking about doing is actually uh, having these printed on shapeways in, in metal. But really for all my uses so far with this, uh, the, the PETG has been just fine. I'm thinking uh, also doing up a version of this for the 3040. I've already started the design process, which I'll make those a bit bigger uh, because obviously it's a 3040, not a 3018 size-wise. And those two I'm thinking about doing in steel, but I'll do a prototype first in PETG and share it with you guys, see what you guys think. So I'll have these out on Thingiverse. So if you want to go and grab them off Thingiverse, I'd appreciate it. If you do get them off Thingiverse or my mini factory, please do a make, post it out there. I'd appreciate it. And hey, you got any questions or suggestions for modifications, please hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I love sharing these designs with you. Uh, also, uh, let me know if you got any ideas what I should make with this guy. I'm going to do some coasters and a couple other cool piece of art things with it. But uh, I also have links to this down below, and I'll be doing another video pretty soon talking about some of the modifications. But I really wanted to get this out there with the vice um, because I thought this was a really cool addition. So Swag Shop's in the corner. Subscribe over there. Comments down below as always, and we'll catch you in the next video when we talk about something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe.